All right. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope, again, you're getting the moral. It's pretty, it's pretty clear. And I'm not giving it to you because you should be getting it. But I want to explore it a little bit further. And again, we're just trying to lube up, right? We're trying to warm up a little bit, um, especially with this remote learning um, crap. Me and my freaking barn telling you to watch uh, shit. At least hopefully it sounds good. You know, I got my little mic. Hello. Right. You know, um, you know, uh, but we'll have fun. We'll go out on the farm. I'll give you virtual tours and stuff of, of, of the property. Maybe hang out with the kid one day. We'll try to make it fun for y'all. Um, last thing I want you to watch today is an episode. It's a full episode, so it's going to take about 20 minutes. It's called A Very Crappy Christmas. Okay. Um, uh, you know, we get to see Mr. Hanky. Hi. <laughs> uh, who makes an appearance uh, in this, the, Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo, and his, his family, okay? But um, I want you to watch this, and, 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 and um, I want you to think about, you know, uh, what this means. Like, how is this episode meta? How is it reflexive? How, does it, how is it a South Park episode that... Um, is about South Park, okay? And it's looking at, um, you know, the spirit of Christmas. So Jesus versus Santa Claus and, you know, Jesus versus Frosty, um, all that was sort of called the spirit of, you know, spirit of Christmas, a.k.a., okay? So how does it reflect on, like, Trey and Matt making those animations. How is this self-reflexive? How is it meta? And it's gonna, it's gonna, you're going to see like the, you know, like the whole concept of the spirit of Christmas, like bringing the spirit of, of Christmas to the town through their, through their film. You know, they have it animated in, um, in, in Korea. So, I mean, it's talking about labor and cartoon animation and, and, all, and all that stuff. Um, there's some intertextual moments, and we'll, we'll get into what intertextuality is in the, coming, in the coming weeks. And South Park is so, not only meta, but often also very uh, intertextual, meaning it's part of this web of text. So it's always referencing other, other cartoons, primarily, um, but other things, okay? Um, so number one, there's the Circle of Pooh, which is one of my favorite like South Park musical bits, um, you know, which basically says we're all shit. <laughs> uh, we all, you know, are shit um, in, a, in a way. So that's a Lion King reference. So you'll really, you'll really get that if you've seen the Lion King, which I actually have never seen. Um, but, you know, I had to watch that part to get, to get, to get the joke, you know. Um, and there's also a pretty good Peanuts reference. So again, lastly, just sort of think, what is the moral here? What is the moral? And how do they explore it? So how does South Park explore itself and the making of, how is the making of Spirit of Christmas within this episode, you know, um, Jesus versus Frosty or Jesus versus Santa Claus? How does it sort of get into that? Okay, and again, just think about the moral here. And we'll talk about it in a few seconds. All right, press play. It's going to be on like Hulu or you're going to find it, um, you know, on stansdad.ch or another, another, another um, way. Y'all are savvy. Y'all can find episodes somehow. All right, peace.